A school field trip changes a local family's life forever. It's been eight weeks since bricks fell from a building here in Covington. Four people were hurt that day, but one chaperone, a mom from Immaculate Heart of Mary in Burlington, still cannot come home. Tonight I sit down with Valerie McNamara's husband to talk about that day, her recovery, and the reality that life will likely never be the same. When Brian McNamara got the call at work, he knew it was bad. You're terrified of what you're going to be faced with. But he had no idea how quickly his family's life was about to change. They were throwing the bricks off of these women who had just gotten, you know, trampled by hit with all these bricks. His wife, Valerie, volunteering for a school field trip was buried by bricks. Witnesses started praying around her. We were putting pressure on one woman's head who was bleeding very badly. When Brian got to the hospital, doctors prepared him for the worst, and the worst almost came. Unfortunately, she has fractures and breaks from head to toe, yes. Um, she had to be cardioverted twice um, with me there. So at that point in time, yeah, you, you think, you know, that this could be it. After weeks of surgeries and being unresponsive, I did fear um, that death was a reality. There is finally hope. Valerie can sit up in a chair, and last week she talked for the first time. I said, Valerie, why have you taken so long to speak to us? Why have you taken so long like that? And she looked at me very seriously, and she said, I feel like my guardian angels have been telling me that I need to be careful, be quiet, and just get better. The hardest part now is getting better may not mean a full recovery. I said, you know, Valerie, that you have a, a significant spinal cord injury, um, and chances are you may not walk again. What do you think about that? How do you feel about that? And um, she literally looked at me and she smiled and she said, I think we're going to be okay. We have a really good team. Even in her weakest moment, it's Valerie's strength and faith that's holding Brian and their two kids together. If you ask Valerie, what is your goal? She would say it's to get to heaven. And um, that sums her up. I mean, that's the kind of person that she is. Brian says she still has a lot of work to do with him, though, first, so she's not going there. Right now, Valerie is at the Fraser Rehabilitation Institute down in Louisville. The hope is she's going to be able to come home in three weeks, but the rehab will continue along with making their two-story home handicap accessible.